Oop. Hello, friends, and welcome back to my playthrough of Majora's Mask. There we go. Hello, friends, and welcome back to my playthrough of Majora's Perfect. All right. Last we left off, we had uh, done a few quests inside of Clock Town. Uh, we've gotten a handful of masks already, and we haven't even uh, entered the first of the four uh, big adventure areas of the game. Ye who hold the sacred sword, ye have returned to the appointed spot. If you interrupt your adventure, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Hold on. It's a little loud for me. I'm gonna turn my feed down. That's better. Okay. Let's put that away. Okay. Ow. Now, 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 now. So we're on the first day. I want to, I want to try a couple things. Yeah, I want to go. Let me go. I'm starting kind of early today, but that's all right. I got, I got work to do later. So I want to play now and then do business later. That bird gives you like 200 rupees. Ah! If you can beat it. But it takes a lot of hits, and I want to waste time doing that. Well, hello, Anton. I'm doing all right. How are you doing today? Oh, well, hello, Tingle. Get the mask, the Deku mask, and shoot down Tingle. Oh, hold on. I think this is one of those um, Keaton spots. Uh, so let's. So let's. Uh, I, th I think Keaton's only come out at nighttime, so that's why I'm doing uh, doing this. Night of the first day. Okay. Night of the first day. Alright. I like the moving grass. It's kind of distinct. Hey, buddy! I want to talk to you. Hee <laughs> ho! Hello, child. If you're attempting to fool me, it's impossible. We Keatons can recognize our own by the sheen of our tails. But you're a good child. Let me put you to a test. Answer me this. Pick one of the three choices. Is Tingle the map maker left-handed or right-handed? Left-handed. I don't know. <laughs> Why would I know that? That seems like a guess. Ambidextrous, maybe? Oh, right on. Cool. <laughs> well, I didn't really get very far in the first... Well, uh, okay. I... I did a lot of like the uh, like side quests in the first stream, uh, but I haven't gotten super far in the adventure. <laughs> there you go. I probably can't even afford one of his maps right now. Only have seven rupees. Let's see. Maybe I can get some through here. Ah, just magic. Oh, a fairy! Talk to me. Okay. Oh, he's going back up. So if I... Th I'm not sure, but I think eventually, uh, like on the second or third day, this rock will be broken. If I let him do the work. Someone was up to some no-good mischief and blocked the road to Romani Ranch. I'm sorry. I'll remove it quickly. You can get in there early sooner. But I don't have the tools necessary to. So since you missed the first part, Anton, what I'm doing is I'm playing the Song of Time, the double Song of Time, and it lets me skip forward by 12 hour increments. This game, this, the core uh, mechanic of this game is you have three days before the moon crashes into 
into the earth and determina and that's what the moon looks like it gets closer every day but uh i can play the song of time and go back to the three to the start of the three day time period and uh if you ever watched the movie groundhog's day it's 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 that <laughs> it's that the game all right so let's do it again <laughs> oh yeah yeah the noise link produces while walking in the deku mask is hilarious i agree he's got little squishy shoes <laughs> Let's see if I can summon the Keaton again and get some more questions. Keaton. Nope. Only once per per uh, shrubbery, I guess. I want to go in here. In this area. It's Romani Ranch. Yeah, yes. Okay. Good, good, good. I open the way. There's there's a couple uh there's at least one item in here that I really want early on cuz it'll make the rest of the adventure uh a little bit quicker. And you'll see why. And so um So yeah, masks are also like a a central point in this game. Like this whole area will eventually be filled with different masks. I've gotten during my first uh, episode, I got all these ones, but there are 24 in total. Uh, the Deku Mask turns him into a Deku Scrub and gives him a different moveset, and there are three other ones that will transform him, and uh, I guess there's another one that kind of does, but um, yeah, they all have different effects. The Keaton Mask will summon Keaton's uh, uh, Bomb Mask. Basically, it's a. It was a clever way, for, or the blast mask is. It was a clever way for them to be like, well, what if you run out of bombs? Well, we'll just let you have a mask that explodes and gives you deals you like half a heart of damage, but you get to use the explosion to you know break, crack cracked walls that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, and there all the masks are like representations of you having healed somebody's troubles. So lots of lots of complex emotional. Uh, uh, subplots in this game, and each, at least, almost every mask is a uh, is a symbol of you having helped somebody uh, solve a problem or or heal a wound. Okay, so we're gonna need this mask for this area. Hey, buddy. I heard it from my gramps. Says the moon's gonna fall. With something that big, it's sure to take this ranch down with it. Huh. Oh, well. My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. The cuckoo-loving grog was added to your notebook. So it's interesting that, like... Okay, so... Yeah, this is this mini game. You play this like band leader song and get the chicks to follow you. Come here, little guys. If I stop playing for a second, they'll scatter. So I gotta just slowly march. It's um so, yeah. You'll notice. Uh, th the question was um, why is it Romani and not Lon Lon? Uh, because this is a parallel world. Uh, so this takes this game takes place directly after Ocarina of Time. It's one of the one of the few like true sequels, like directly mentioned as a sequel to a previous game. So this takes place right after um, Link puts the sword puts the Master Sword back in Ocarina of Time, and Navi leaves him. And it's stated in the beginning of this game that he's looking for an old friend. So he was he was looking for Navi, and he 
ended up in this parallel world. It's, uh, that, and it's, you know, that's the way they explain, like, oh, we're reusing a lot of assets, so there are a lot of same-looking characters. It's because it's a parallel world, and it's not, it's not Hyrule, it's a place called Termina. Missing one? Where's the last one? Where's the last little guy? There he is. Oh, there he is. He way over there. <laughs> but yeah, like um, like all the all the characters have different names. Uh, but I mean, there there there's a lot of characters look the same. Like uh, you'll see Marin and Malin and whatnot, but they're uh, they're different people in this uh in this parallel dimension world whatever yeah yay i don't really get it but just seeing these guys with the with the crest and all i don't have regrets about anything anymore i'm perfectly satisfied here you can have this from me yes you got the bunny hood. My, what long ears it has. Will the power of the wild spring forth? <laughs> yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> you fulfilled the wishes of youth. It was This was added to your notebook. It's one of my favorite masks in the game. Because, oops, let me take off the Berman mask. Berman mask? No! Hold on. Here. Check it out. I go twice as fast with it. <laughs> it's super handy. Good to get it early on. Come on. And I forget what's over here. Maybe a fishing spotter or a mini game or something. No. Oh, it's a doggy race game. I think I bet on doggies. I'll pass. Look! That's not Navi, by the way. That's a different fairy. Her name is Tattle. Isn't that your horse? <laughs> We're about to learn a bonus song. <laughs> I think. Hold on. Do I just play it? No. I guess not. Hello. Oh, she's sad. Huh? You. Who who are you again? Romani, the ranch girl, was added to your notebook. There's a reason why she's kind of zonked out, but we won't get to understand why until we're able to come here uh, during, like, earlier than the th uh, third day. And this is her sister. Oh, I'm sorry. Right now, I'm thinking a little... My little sister. My sister, she... She... What shall we do? Our precious cows. If I thought it would come to this, then what Romani said, I should have... Crimea, the ranch owner, was added to your notebook. So there's a lot going on in this area that we don't really understand yet uh because we just don't we can't we don't have access to it until the third day so far okay anything but something happened something happened between the first and the third day we'll find that out later Anything good? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> this is a sequel. How did Link forget a Pona song? I agree. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I can just play it. No. 
Nope. <laughs> I think, yeah, I have to come during the earlier days to learn it. Uh, da -da -da -da. But when you uh, when you get your ocarina back, it, it gets stolen by the skull kid wearing Majora's Mask in the beginning. And uh, once when you pick it up, you immediately remember the Song of Time. So like, at least <laughs> at least he remembers one in his repertoire. Any other things? No, this is pretty much all I wanted. Uh, so let's turn back time. And go ahead and start on the, like, uh, main main adventure part of the, of the game. All right. When you go through time, you lose all your money and your usables like bombs and arrows and that kind of stuff so it just restarts you back at a base at, at the base level but you can uh, put your money in a bank and your um th the way they explain how that works is like the the banker will, will like stamp your hand with like I, I guess whatever their number is and be like oh your name is let me read your thing uh, it's link and you have 200 rupees in the bank all right and they that's how that works You'll notice, like, how quickly time moves. Like, it's not actual hours. Like, each hour is... Ah, dang it. I keep pressing. Each hour is about 25 seconds. But, you can slow it down... ...by playing the reverse song of time. I didn't know that! Also, welcome to the first tower. Uh... The first tower said, Did you know that in Ocarina of Time, Malin has a necklace with a picture of Bowser on it? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I did not know that. Look, hello, fellow. I know who you are, but you don't remember me because I, I went back in time. All right. So first thing we want to do... Stop right there. Have you some errand in the swamp? It's dangerous outside the town wall, so I can't allow a child like you to... Uh, a sword? Uh, my apologies, sir. I was wrong of me to treat you like a child. The southern swamp at Woodfall lies in this direction. Be careful. Our first destination is going to be the swamp. The swamp. The swamp. That's interesting to me, actually. Like, that... It looks like Death Mountain, but... I'm not quite sure. Like... Maybe I'll mention it again if I if I think to, but it seems kind of out of place to me because I don't recall really there being this kind of mountain structure. <sighs> In that area. I hear a cat. Oh, I remember this. Tail and I drew this with a skull kid when we first met him. Her brother is Tail. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they had left him alone. Tattle and tail. They were cold. It's a rainy cold. Aww. Aww. The poor skull kid was alone. Aww. You're all friends now. <laughs> yeah, best of friends now.
Mm. I'm sure it was all because he was always... I'm sure it was because he was always playing tricks, so nobody wanted to play with him. But to do what he did just because of that... Once he got his power. Conked out the happy mask salesman and stole the stole Majora's mask. Kinda the worst one you could have stole. But I suppose evil artifacts tend to call to people. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the first tower says, uh, fairies have more uses than just yelling, hey, you're listen. Like, oh yeah, they're always helpful. They're good friends. But I, I really, I do enjoy that Tattle, instead of saying things, she just jingles. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> that looks, is this more Keaton grass? Nope, okay. Just has the same shape. Yeah, Tattle's... I'd, I'd say that Tattle is my second favorite of Link's uh, uh, compatriots. She has a... She, I, I like her personality. I, I like her, like, arc as a character, too. Okay. Ooh! Uh, bye -bye. Let's! Please feel free to take our fresh spring water home with you, Swamp Taurus Center. Well, if I had a bottle, I was I do have a bottle. I earned a bottle. Wow. This many bottles? One, two, three, four, five. Dang, that's a lot of bottles in this game. <laughs> I forgot there were that many. That's awesome. Okay, what's in this door? Swamp Shooting Gallery. I don't have a bow, so I can't play this game. I have no bow. No bow for me. Ow! Ow, again! Ow, three times. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, yeah. Oh, it only gives me one at a time. Something, I guess. Can I have that heart? Thank you. I want some rupees. I could, I could just go to the bank every time I turn time back and take out like a hundred or something. But I forgot. I'm wanting rupees because Tingle's over there and I have to buy maps from him if I want to see where I'm going. Yay. Ow! Yeah, that's what you get. Did that mollusk thing eat a, eat the heart? Like, yeah, I guess they contain whatever heart or rupee inside of them. It seems like there's a method to the to getting what's inside of them too. Like you, you'll notice that uh, when I uh, when I hit the one with a heart, uh, rupee came out instead. But when I stunned it first, the heart came out. So maybe that's how it works. Is a uh, if you just kill it outright, uh, it'll give you either random or something that's not inside its belly. But if you stun it, you get what's in there. That's my guess. This is Tingle. He's 35 years old, and he thinks he's a fairy. What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my! My name is Tingle! I think I'm the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. 
Alas, though I'm already age 35, no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange, I'll sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Oh, I don't have enough. Sorry. I see. I'll call again. Tingle, Tingle, Kulu, Limpa! These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. Tingle has... His, Tingle has two games of his own. I've played one of them. The one I played was... Uh, was a DS game called Freshly Picked Tingle in Rosie Rupee Land. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it's, it's befitting of his weirdness. <laughs> it's also about the most annoying kind of play style. Oh, sweet. That's perfect. Now I can buy your stuff, Tingle. Also, I want to catch one of these bugs. I don't know if it'll be useful, but it's a bug. In this game, like uh, Skulltulas being all over the world isn't a thing, so that kind of that kind of scavenger hunt isn't present, uh, which I appreciate. They do have uh, gold Skulltulas in this game, but they're uh, sequestered in certain areas. Like the the Tingle game was. Um, Instead of instead of fighting for yourself, you had to hire people. Like you could fight, but you weren't very strong. Uh, but you had to hire people to fight for you. So you would have like a different different uh, like ranks of bodyguards coming along with you to fight f in your stead. And it was basically like the reverse of an escort mission. Like you were the escort throughout the whole game, kind of. You got the map of Woodfall. Well, call again. Okay, I won't steal your magic. All right. Oh, I love the bunny hood. It's a good. Cool. Well, that was lucky. Getting the, uh, like, 20 rupee and the bunch of rupees down there. There's a heart up there, but I can't get it without getting that uh, Deku flower. I can't get the Deku flower yet. Oh, there's an owl statue. Let's go to there. You gotta smack him to wake him up. Okay, so what is this place? Swamp tourist information ahead. The swamp. Swamps. Swamp. The swamps. Blimey, where is he? That spoiled child's off playing hooky again. A child his age has no biz business searching for fairies. Oh, I guess this is Tingle's dad. Oh, ahem. Welcome. <laughs> well then, why don't you show me the pictograph you've taken? I don't have one. Huh? This is your first time entering the picto pictograph contest? Well, the Swamp Tourist Center is currently holding a pictograph contest. It's open to all ages, from children to adults. For nice pictographs taken in the swamp, a free boat cruise will be awarded to, to as a special prize. So, would you like to enter the contest? Oh, but to enter, you must first take the boat cruise. Boat cruise reservations are hand, handled at the window over there. If you're interested, go for a go for a ride. <laughs> All right. Old Kume's boat cruise ticket office closed. Please inquire at the Magic Hag's potion shop near the edge of the swamp. All right. <laughs> uh, no, I sold the um, the rabbit hood to the runner in uh, in, major in uh, Ocarina of Time. The Keaton mask I sold to the soldier, or yeah, the soldier who was guarding the entrance to Death Mountain. Ah, no! I 
drop my bugs. Bugs! Come back, bugs! Bugs! I, I should put that away. I keep, uh, keep pressing the button. All right, so we're going to the old hag's potion shop. Potion shop. Magic Hag's Potion Shop ahead. Ah! This is reminiscent of approaching the Deku Tree. A little twisty turns. Rupees and magic. Oh. Let me get up the ladder. Let me get up the ladder. Yeah. work very well they do are you by chance a boat cruise customer how unfortunate kume has gone into the woods out back looking for mushrooms hmm now that i think about it she's a bit late coming back say could you go find her for me hmm yes it's easy getting lost in those woods ask the monkeys that live there all right let's go find kume Kume and Kotake. Kumi and Kotake. Okay. I believe this is the area. Uh, woods of mystery. Beware of ferocious turtles. Will do. Will do. Oh, yes. Oh, the monkey. Hmm. Follow me. Okay. I'll follow you. I'm a coming. And the monkey. Oh, not that way. Okay. Let's go this way then. Uh, oh no, a turtle. That, that, that's a ferocious turtle. Oh no. <laughs> Run away from the ferocious turtle. <laughs> okay. This way. This way. All right, monk. monk. Monkeys. There she is. Thanks, buddy. Oh, ow, ow, help me. What should I do? I was just busy minding my own business, picking mushrooms when, bam, I got hit from behind. That pesky skull kid. Did he think an old hag wouldn't recognize him if he hit his face? Oh, ow, to think he's that powerful, and now I can't even move. You, don't you have anything that gives you energy? No, I don't. Oh, what is this? You're no help. I say, you're not at all what I, what you make yourself out to be. I believe I'm supposed to go back to her sister, and then I get the energy thing. So that's interesting to me that Komi and Kotake have the same name in Termina, where, like, all the other characters are different. Please feel free to take our fresh spring water home with you. I don't think fresh spring water is what she needs. I think she needs a potion. I believe she needs a potion. Welcome. My potions work very well, they do. <gasps> What's that? The Skull Kid got to Kume? That's ridiculous. If it's just the Skull Kid, then what harm could he possibly do? Oh! Well, if that's true, then take this potion to her. This isn't good. Sweet. You got a bottle of red potion. Red potion replenishes health. After using the potion, save the bottle for storing things. Bottle number two. All right. Quick, take that potion to her. <laughs> no, we can't leave her in the woods. That's not what a good friend does. She's a nice lady in this world. 
They're just old potion sales people and boat tour guides. Okay. Let's do it again, Monk Monk. Let's go find Komei. I know where you're going. Yeah, you're not gonna fool me. <laughs> Playing. Just letting them move first. <laughs> Close. And left, I think, right? Yeah. There we go. All right. Oh, yo! Don't you feel obligated to help a sorry old egg when you see one? Ah, that color! That smell! That's definitely Kotake's! Flow. Kome is revived! <laughs> you saved me! I'm the Swamp Tour Guide! I run the boat cruise, so come by if you want a free ride! Sweet. Thank you. Uh, let's go this way. <laughs> ah, hey guys. You have strange powers, no? Me been watching you. Lately, this swamp filled with poison water. Temple above waterfall, strange. Brother, brother, go to temple, but brother no able to find temple entrance. Temple for Deku only. Brother captured by Deku, now in palace. Help! All right, let's go help your brother. Let's go help your brother. Have some fresh spring water. Maybe it'll come in handy. I don't know. Boom. All right. <laughs> yep. Deku Link is so light, he just skips along the water. <laughs> but I think he... Like, I think he gets five or six skips, and then if you miss the last one, he just sinks. You have to... Start you back over at the last place you walked off. There she is. Oh, thanks for what you did back there. Uh, and a special deal just for you. I'll let you take this cruise for free. Ah, yes. We've got a special going on right now. So we're giving this out for free. Ooh, a camera. You got a pictograph box. I guess this is the first Zelda that has the pictograph box. They brought it back and, um... Uh, like Wind Waker and uh, like further Zeldas. Look through it and press A to snap a picture. You can shoot only one pictograph at a time, but you can retake as many times as you like. Sweet. If you take a nice picture from the boat, take it to the fella over there. All right, the boat's leaving. Welcome to the boat cruise. Please set your pictograph box to C and press C to look through it. Please enjoy the swamp scenery to your blah blah. <laughs> Alright, pictograph time. What cool things do we want to take pictures of? I think I want to... There was a big octo. I think we'll come back around to it. So that's what I want to take a picture of. Can I zoom? Nope, no zoomies. No zoomies. Ooh, there's a bee. A snap. Do I get that one? Oh, I hope I didn't freeze the game. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a stunk. Ah, uh, no. Let's not keep that picture. There's the octo. That's what I want. Wait for, waiting for it to uh, develop, I guess. Yeah, let's keep that. <laughs> Bye, Octo, shall we? Lovely. Hey, monkey. 
This must be the palace he was talking about. Now arriving at Deku Palace. The swamp water is poisonous here, so please watch your step. Are you disembarking? Yeah. We'll come back later. There's another Octo. I think. Yeah, I can't get over there. Hey, Monk Monk. Monk knees. Monk knees. Ooh. This is the royal palace of the Deku Kingdom. This is no place for outsiders. Oh, it must be a Deku scrub. <laughs> Same thing. Oh, this is the royal palace of the Deku Kingdom. Only those on official business may enter. But you may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who endangered our king. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. What did the monkey do? I'm gonna put away this camera. Okay, what's going on here? No, I haven't seen your face before. Are you visiting? Usually I don't allow the likes of you in my royal chamber, but today is different. We're about to punish the foolish monkey who kidnapped the Deku princess. He has insulted the royal family. I'll show him what happens when you do that. The foolish monkey is up in that cage. Take a good look at his face. Okay. What? He keeps saying that I kidnapped her. No matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Please believe my words. Okay. Anything else? Okay. There's an entrance over there. Yeah. Okay. So. Sounds like wrongful imprisonment. Is my brother all right? Did you see the entrance to the cage? We know a secret route there. It's your secret route from outer garden entrance, but entrance in tall place. No can reach it. Need bean from bean cellar. Live beneath palace garden. Hmm. Understand my meaning? Sure. Oh, you smart. Plant bean in south place by outer garden. You figure out rest. Hurry, help brother. Okay, which way, Monk Monk? No, not that way. This way. Well, there's some soft dirt there. Okay. Hmm. Is this not the area? Okay. Where am I supposed to go? For some reason, I thought there was a hole in this spot. But I guess not. Not. A 
I definitely need a magic bean for that. Oh, let's go find the bean salesman. They said they were in the palace garden, so let's go into the other two doors. Blah, blah, blah. Did you come to see the foolish monkey again? You seem to enjoy seeing him. Blah, blah, blah. They say not to go in these areas, but... Oops, <laughs> I broke it. I'm gonna. I'm going. So, I th yeah, I think we're supposed to find the bean salesman. Yes, some people never change. Depend. Regardless of what dimension. Ah! No, 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 no. This way. The, o the old dodging the guards minigame, huh? Okay. Ooh, money. No, the money. Ooh, there's a spot. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. You got to be careful. Shoop dooby doo doo, shooby dooby doo. Hold on. Okay. I'll wait. Okay. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's the same here. Well, jump, jump. You're the first customer I've had in a long time. Do you feel any? Do you need any magic beans? They sprout leaves as they, uh, as soon as you water them. That they do. They do. Mm. I'll give you one free sample. So try planting it in some soft soil. You can always buy more. So in this world, they uh, instead of having to wait for them to grow, you just put water on them and they immediately grow. You can plant them wherever you want, but if you don't water them, their leaves won't grow. Mmm, so you like my magic beans and came back to buy more? Yeah. Yes, I did. You can plant them wherever you want. There are a couple spots that I can think of, so I'm going to take a couple extras. I know there's one near um, near Clock Town that I think I can get like a treasure chest if I plant it. Ooh, this is neat. What's okay? Is there anything actually useful here? Plant a bean for? Oops. Well, okay, let's try it. Let's give this a shot. And also, I'm gonna try this. Try the old buggy trick. There wouldn't be Skulltalism in this game. What is it? Is it heart fees, maybe? Or money? Alright, some money. Alright. Magic beans, which I somehow can't use if I'm a Deku scrub. Let's plant some beans. And water dam. Alright, have a good one, Anton. Ooh. Oh, look at that. I'll have that, thank you. Ooh. Oh, cool. Let's get two smatterings of spring water. Please feel free to take the blah blah. Yeah. I'm gonna let him kick me out. 
<laughs> An intruder! La 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 Let's do this. Okay, so that didn't work. Just, just kick me out. <laughs> okay, I guess I should shoot him from a distance instead of just trying to drop uh, Deku nuts on him. Get him! Dude, I... Yeah! Okay. Gotcha! I almost fell off. Sweet. Woo. Get him! Ha! Bubbles. Bubbles. Bubbleys. Wonder if I can hit him from here. Nah, not quite. A little far. A little foot. Ah! Yeah, I definitely got him. Ooh, look at all. The Ooh, ah, there's a heart over there. I want it. To come through the other side. Cool. All right. I'm not gonna drop down right now, but I'll I'll come do that in a bit. They keep saying that I kidnapped her, no matter how many times. They're saying it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Why won't they believe what I say? Fine, I get it. Then I shall say nothing more to you. Punish me or do whatever else you might. Uh, okay, anything else? I have nothing else to say to you, DQ Scrubs. Do as you will. I'm supposed to pull this out, right? Yeah. Oh! You have them! You do! Just like the princess! Deku pipe pipes! Those will work great! There's like no real indication that you're supposed supposed to pull those out, but okay. J 
just Zelda intuition, I guess. By the way, who are you? <laughs> well, well, that's not important now. Just listen to me. I was trying to find out about the poison in the swamp, so I went to the Woodfall Temple above the waterfall. But the temple had become a monster's lair, and the princess was captured by the monster. Since the Deku King thinks I kidnapped the princess, he won't listen to a word I say. Now the princess is in trouble, so I must somehow hurry to the temple and save her! Do you understand my plight? Yes. So then, that means... You'll go in my place and save the princess! Alright. Okay, now, I'll teach you the melody that opens the temple. The princess taught it to me. We can't let them hear us, so I'll, so I'll sing it softly. Open your ears and listen hard. <laughs> well, I can't quite play this these pipes soft, but the Sonata of Awakening. They're all watching. <laughs> You learn the Sonata of Awakening. This melody awakens those who have fallen into a deep sleep. Everyone, did you hear that? This melody, which only the DQ royal family knows, it proves the fullest monkey deceived the princess so he could enter the temple. Everyone, let the monkey's punishment commence. Uh-oh. Ah. <laughs> You'd better take the shortcut to the Deku. The Deku people used to get to the Woodfall Temple. But you must hurry. If you don't, I'll be punished by the Deku King. Ow. I got booted out. Can I go back in? I told you not to enter any areas other than the Royal Chamber. It's a very rare occasion that you're allowed to enter, so do as I say. They're still gonna let me in. All right, so the let's go get that heart piece. A little trickier, I think. It's a little bit trickier. Well, oh, no. Sorry. Blah 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 blah. Hey. Mm -hmm. No signage for you. Roops. Ruples. Rarpies. Rah! Rapleys. Ah! Uno! <laughs> Alright. So. Wait for him to come back. Okay. Plot out a path. Plot out a path. Both gonna go up, it looks like. Right on. That makes it easy. Boom! Oh yeah. I'm gonna get these. Now you can kick me out. <laughs> hey, Phoenix! <laughs> Phoenix says, seriously, the royals aren't great at protecting the monkey if they're just leaving it lying around. Like, I guess protecting is a strong word for what they're doing. They're keeping him prisoner, unjustly. And they're, like, the, the guards are just watching the king be angry. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 
guys. That's how to take care of them. Some creepy design these things have. I don't like them. <laughs> yeah. They have like. Oops. They have like electrified tails. <laughs> I'm just generally not fond of like. I <laughs> like dragonflies touching me. <laughs> these, these are definitely dragonfly looking things. It's like, ah! You look slimy. I know you're not. Though I'm not, like, I don't mind snakes. But, like, dragonflies, like, they look like every part of them would hurt me. <laughs> oh, it's Kapora Gabor. Hoots! <laughs> this is a rare sight. You are a fairy child, correct? What business might you have in this poisonous swamp? If you dare not venture further, I shall pass no judgment. It is better that you hurry back to town. This swamp you are in has lost its guardian deity, deity, but it was destined to fade anyway. Hmm. Hoo hoot. And that destiny is not solely limited to this swamp. If you have the courage and determination to proceed in this face of in the face of destiny, then I shall teach you something useful. Before coming here, had you not seen any of the stone statues that had you not seen any of the stone statues that bear a close resemblance to me? I have placed those throughout the land to aid one with the power to change the destiny of this land, wherever wherever he may appear. If you have left proof of your encounter on any of those stone statues, then the the song then the song carved at my feet shall certainly be of some assistance. Remember. Remember it well, then play it when the need arises. From the first time you play this song, we shall become eternal friends, transcending time and place. Well, thank you. Well, let's play a song. I guess I gotta read it. <laughs> Notes are carved in the stone. Yeah! May the soaring wings take flight. <laughs> What's, uh, who's the other streamer that's uh, playing a game with time travel in it? Oh, you're saying uh, I'm the only streamer you know that is in two games that have time travel in it? You learn the song of soaring. This melody swoops you up and sends you soaring with with a stone bird to, uh, to a stone bird statue in an instant. So that's our warp song. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> I I misread your previous comment. Uh, you're like I was talking about the money, but the monkey monkey works too. As far as like the guarding the things, you, Phoenix said guarding money, not not the monkey. <laughs> Head monkey on the brain. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's awesome. I didn't think of that. Uh, like Discord murder party and uh, Chrono Trigger, and I'm playing two games to that deal with time travel back to back <laughs> and on stream. That's interesting. Ty wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. Doodly doo, shoobity doo. Okay, so now we're in the swamp. Ooh, there's a treasure chest. Let's go get it. What do we get here? Yeah, money. Money. They offered me something I couldn't refuse. Money. Okay, what is this? Hip, hip loops. They're hot-headed, so they'll charge you. So they'll charge if you look it in the eye. If it comes at you, assume the defensive position. Or I'll just do this. Get him. Come on. I fear no bug. 
or monster or person or whatever. <laughs> Come on. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. There we go. There we go. Alright, so let's see if we can nail it this time. Uh while the while he's in the air as Deku Link, he can drop uh Deku. Oh, almost. There we go. Yeah, Deku nuts. It's a pretty neat little uh, extra bit for him. Get him! Oh, I missed. Come on, come on. Ah! Ow! Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that this is the DQ scrub mark? I wonder if they worshipped here. Maybe so. But let's go ahead and uh, access another warp point. That's nice that like it instead of having multiple warp songs, you just have the one. Hey, sunshine! Yeah, I'm on early today. Uh, I got work to do later, and I have a doctor's appointment at uh, and like uh, at two o'clock, and it's twelve ten right now. So I wanted to do this early. No, that's all right. Have a have a good one for now, Phoenix. Thanks for stopping by. All right. Into the first day. I think we got a fairy. Yes. Okay. So let's uh, sing that song that we just learned. Yes, I got it. <laughs> Trying to do it from memory. The Sonata of Awakening. So I'm guessing this is the area that kind of looks like Death Mountain from the outside. It's like this big raised swamp. That's That's got to be what it is. See ya. Ugh. Deco. Hey. Oh, oh poo poo. <laughs> get him, get him. Oh, so close. Get him. Oh. Like the bubbles are kind of unreliable. The way that they fly. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, poo. Okay. I guess this is one where I have to, um, kind of fly over. Or eventually get a bow. But, I'm going to give it a shot. No, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> but I'll do this. All right. Easy does it. Don't jump off in the water. It's poison. All right, all right. Oh, boo. <laughs> what a rip. All right. Fine. I know there's a treasure chest over here somewhere. Come on, buddy. Come on, buggy. Buggy, buddy. Buggy, bug. No! Ah! <laughs> yeah, you go away. I don't like you. <laughs> okay. ah! Oh yeah. You gotta kinda avoid their shots as you're coming in. Oh, oh my. Oh! <laughs> Ow. Ow. 
while we... Well, at least I took him out. <sighs> da, da, da. La, la, la. I'm gonna get that treasure. <laughs> I almost fell off. Oh, sweet! Delta rune. <laughs> he jumps in the treasure chest to get it. Yes! Two pieces. Alright, before we do anything else, since I got the, um... I got the song to warp back here anytime. I'm gonna... Ah. There we go. I'm gonna go into town. And I know that there's a, um... Yeah, clock town. <clears throat> there's a, um... Bean sprout place. It's a cool animation. I like it. Cool. Okay. Got the bean sprout there. Got the water. It's right outside at the swamp. Bear. Now we get to get that treasure. Treasure time. Ooh. Hey. Careful. There we go. <laughs> Trying to think, what's the safest way to get out in here without falling off? It's just all right. It's just twenty rupees. Well. Does this take me anywhere else? Is that it? <laughs> okay. Boo! A bit of a ripoff. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. There's a place for soft soil there, too. But I think that's one for bugs. Uh, I also want to... See if uh, some of these are Keaton grass. This one isn't. Keaton grass. Where's the Keatons? Nope. Nope. Maybe over here? Yeah, usually it's uh, more um, uh, symmetrical. That's the word I'm looking for. Usually the Keaton grass is more symmetrical. I know there's some in town, so let's just go to town. Let's go to town. This should be the part of town it's in. Northern clock town, I think. Or is this western? Oh, no, it's see. <laughs> I was way off. Let's try. Let's try the Keaton quiz. Ah, Jebel, yay. Good luck. Chaos, chaos! Hi, buddy. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Give me a quiz. How many cows? I don't know. Two. <laughs> oh, no. Boo. <laughs> How am I supposed to know that? Can I? Can I try again? Ah, it's sack on the thief. Nope. I think only once per cycle. Or per cycle per grass. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's head back to uh, the swamp then. Get on with the first uh, first temple. Some really good temples in this game. For sure.
really good ones. Oh, wrong one. Ah, I guess while I'm here, I can do the, uh, try to give my picture to this, uh, person. Alright. Heat and grass. Pictograph time. <laughs> Abra from Pokemon. Yeah, it does look like Abra from Pokemon. Totally does. Alright, so this guy wants a picture. Alright, I'll show you my picture. Does this look good? Oh, this is a big Octo. I'm pretty sure others have taken pictographs of those before, but if you get too close to one of those things, it'll suck you in. So it's pretty hard to take a de decent shot. Now then, please choose your prize. Ah, 20 rupees. Bring us another nice pictograph if you can, all right? Sure. Well, I'm, I'm almost full up on rupees, so I'm just going to... Since I got a warp anyway, I'm just gonna go into town and put this in the bank. Yeah, Jevil's tough. I I still haven't played the Sands fight. If I ever do, I'll just play the like kind of copied version people have done made up like online. Uh, Cause I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to go through the genocide version of that game. It's too sad. I've seen it and I've done songs for it, but I don't want to. I don't want to be the one pulling the trigger, so to speak. But yeah, someday I'll uh, I'll play like the uh, copied version, I guess, of the Sands fight. It looks intense. Though I did just beat the hardest boss in Kingdom Hearts three last night. It only took me, like, two or three tries? Something like that. It, was, it wasn't all that difficult. I wasn't playing on proud mode either, but I, I feel like I could handle it okay on proud mode. Like, it, it was normal mode. And, yeah, it wasn't. Compared to Sephiroth in, in 2 and even in 1, it wasn't that difficult. All right, now, now we're set, and we can go to the Swamp Palace. Uh, Woodfall, that's the one. Woodfall. <sighs> oh, yay. Doody-doo, shwooby-doo. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab me another uh, fairy since they <laughs> think they respawn if you come back in. Yep. <gasps> well, do you die, do you stick? Oh, uh, gimme, perfect. Oh yes. Um, darn it. Well, I'll, I might have to come back and do that later. There's a there's an area where the Deku stick would come, be uh be handy. But I think I'd waste a lot of time doing that right now uh, for Marty on the night of the first day. So. I want to do the palace. That's my first and foremost thing. Woodfall Temple. Or I guess temple, not palace. The Deku Palace is the palace. So, stray fairies. And since we got the fairy mask from the great fairy when we were, uh, human. You know, I don't even need my ocarina in here, I, I don't think. So we're gonna trade. Check this out. And draws him close. Like, hey, it's me. You found a stray fairy. This is your first one. Okay. And since the hair is sparkling... That means there are more fairies. That means there are more. Maybe there's one in that B 
beehive? Let's give it a shot. Literally a shot. Is that it? Nope, just a uh, rupee. Ah! Oh, get away. It's a black bow. Just calm down and attack it. Look, there are there are just a lot of them, that's all. Yeah, yeah they're like mob enemies. Where's the fairy? Fairy. Fairy. I'm fairly sure there's one somewhere. Alright, we'll figure it out. We'll find it. Once you've cleared all the stray fairies from a room, the hair stops sparkling. Ah! That's gotta be it. It's gotta be there. Ah. You did it! You beat you beat Jevil. Awesome. Good job. <laughs> Congrats. You beat the hardest boss in Delta Rune. Right? We got all the fairies in this room. Good. Good, good, good. Or at least in Delta Rune Chapter 1. Chapter 1. Okay. Ah, that stench! This place stinks just like that poison swamp. The water in here is poison too. I'll have a stick. Okay. Well, we got a torch. Razor. What do you think that is? The ashes in the center of it still look fresh. Mm, well, I don't think I can... Doesn't look like you can reach it with a fire stick right now. No, sir. Ow. Oh, cool. So defeating some enemies earns you a, a stray fairy. That's good to know. Uh, don't want to jump in those. Not yet. Not yet, anyway. But let's jump in the middle. Hmm. Uh-oh. Ow! Ow. 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 Okay. The poison water is really bad. Ow. Okay. My best option is to be a Deku scrub for these parts, because I can skip. Fairy? Fairy? Is there a fairy? Yes! Yes, I got a fairy. More fairies? Okay. Alright. Yeah, and they don't eat they don't eat me, I'm too light. And they don't I guess they don't like eating wood. <laughs> it's like, yeah, not too flavorful. I'll pass. I'll pass on the Deku scrubs. Ooh! Turtles! No, I missed. Come on. Over this way. It's supposed to. Got him. Come on, Turtles. Ah! Wrong button. Button, button. Who's got the button? Uh oh. Ah! Get, get, get in there! All right, come on. It's a snapper. The way these things move, they never expose the weak part of their body. Come on. Oh, I missed. I missed. Come on. Come on, snapper. There we go. 
You got a dungeon map. Awesome music. Kind of makes me think of Tiny Tim. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can I make it? Yes, I can make it. Probably a uh, key? Probably a key. Yeah. All right. Making progress. blocks as a Deku scrub. This looks pretty light. Well, don't just stand there. Press A and grab it and use the toggle to move it. Fine, Tattle. Don't have to be so bossy. Okay, we got fairies in here. Come on down, Skeletula. Ow! Spiders! Oh, I missed. Okay, that's annoying. There's one. I don't understand. No way. Oh, good. I'll accept that. Well, I can't go under there. There's a fairy under this bridge thing. There's poisoned water. And I can't shoot my bubbles under there because, well, bubbles get stopped in the water, I believe. <laughs> nice sound effect. All right. All right. Hmm. Okay. So we got that and that. And there's a couple of, um, yeah, beehives or wasps' nests. Wasps' nest is. Yes! Let's try. Ooh, ooh. Ah! It's a bee! <laughs> Ouch! That hurt. Get him. Ha ha. That one was a fairy. Thank you. Okay. So we have a web. And we have a torch down here. So let's grab us a Deku stick. Get our bunny hood on so we can run faster. Gotta be careful because these butterflies will follow you. And I think they hurt you somehow. Somehow butterflies hurt you. <laughs> Isn't that a dragonfly? As long as you stay away from its tail, it's no big danger. Yeah. Hitting the ear, I don't like it. Ah! Come on. Boom. This way, Mr. Dragonfly. Boom. Probably a compass. Oh, 
you got a compass. Um, any fairies in here? Nope. All right. No fairy. No fairies. But this stayed lit. Can run fast. Run fast. Ow. Hi, butterflies. Why? Ah. Stairs. I'm going up the sideways stairs. Be careful! I sense a lot of evil here. Alright. It is dark. It's dark and scary. Ah! I got this. Don't worry. Don't worry, Tattle. Fairies! Gotta save the fairies! Ow! Save my fairy friends. Light the torches. Light them torches. Torch. Torchies. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Got it. Come on. Come on. A fairy. Whoop. The handy dandy thing about those guys is they also heal you. So there's lots of chances to heal up in these dungeons. Ah, my foot. I was sitting on it wrong. Well, I don't, know if, I don't know if there's a right way to sit on your foot. Dragonfly. Come on. Drago. Drago. Yeah. Ah! I'm gonna check all these grasses. Ah! Poo poo. Fine. Just to make sure there's no fairy in one of them. Could be. Oh, okay. Wouldn't be unheard of for there to be a fairy in a grass. Well, hello, Ragnar. <laughs> oh, no. Kingdom Hearts was last week. But I didn't stream that. I just played it personally. I played it and I beat it. And I... Did all... Pretty much all the things I wanted to do. Should have probably checked before I went down and started cutting down all the grass. Okay, there are here though. Ooh, and there was a ladder there all along. <laughs> Weird. 
Okay. Oh, there's one. There's a fairy buddy. Hi, friend. You don't have to be afraid. It's me. It's me. Okay. Well, let's let's go this way. Fairies here. Not there, though. Ooh. Ooh, no. Ah! Whoa! They breathe fire in this one. What? Don't you know about the Dynalthos? Use targeting methods while defending and watch out for its fiery breath. Well, I guess they did in. Did they in Ocarina? I forget. They probably did. I just didn't give them much of an opportunity to. Whoa. Well, that was uh, easy enough. I did take some damage, though. So it wasn't, it wasn't a cakewalk. Doodle, 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 doodle. Oh my gosh. It is a bow. You got the hero's bow. Set it to C to equip it. Press C to draw it and hold it and aim and shoot and all that, all that stuff. Nope, no fairies. All right, let's... Finally, we got the bow. That's good. Uh, yeah, let's just take off my rabbit ears. Rabbit -y ears. A little bit high. Also a little bit high. <laughs> Lovely. I'm a coming! Whew. There we go. There's still a fairy in here somewhere. Where could it be? Fairy! Ah! Fairy print. I'll figure it out later. Whoa! Well, hello. That's a gecko, and it's pretty angry. It's pretty weak, too. It really shouldn't be making a fool of you. Fine. Let's, uh, let's get it. Ah! Uh-oh. Now it's a gecko riding a toidle. Ow. Got it. ceiling, right? Ah, I keep hitting the wrong dang button. Sorry. There he goes. Uh-oh. Run! Take some arrows, please. There he is. Yeah, the ocarina is a, a, a time is a central part of uh, 
this this story as well. Um, hello, Froggy. Uh, it's in this one, and it's in uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, but yeah, it, not every game, not every Zelda game has a musical instrument. Twilight Princess had the like uh, the like the whistle grass, but it wasn't something that you, s you kept with you and used for like warping and learning songs and stuff. But no, it's not in all of the Zeldas for sure. But this one's also this one's also a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time. It's the same link. It's the same link. Oh, yes. Okay, we're, we're still missing a fairy. Oh, I bet it's right there. Yep. So if you got the fairy mask on, they come right to you. Hey, friends. And that's the last in this room. We remember we saw one. Uh, in that room with a pushable stone block. So, I think that was... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's across the hall here. <laughs> oh, she's... Yeah, so, uh... Yeah, one of the great fairies give you gives you this mask early on. Because, um... Uh, in this game, the not the Skull Kid has like split the great fairies into pieces, and that's what these stray fairies are. And you have to collect them inside the their respective uh, uh, temples, and then return them to their uh, great fairy fountains. And once you do that, you get a you basically you have to earn the um, the upgrades they give you in this one, not just finding their uh, fountains make it a little little more challenging to get a uh, your prizes blurf okay so now now we got this and there are two ways we can handle this ah! oops we could use a DQ stick but I'm gonna try to fire an arrow through ah almost all right gotta lower my aim aim a little bit Boom! Ha ha ha! That's how we do it. And then... We want to get over to that switch. I think this is the only way to do it, really. Or the safest way to do it. And we're so light! We can't even pe press it down when we're a DQ scrub. That's got to be the last fairy in this area. Okay. And the water's cle cleaned up now, so we don't have to worry about being poisoned. Oh, fairy. Yeah, that's all of them in here. Let's go back to that block pushing room, which I believe is this this one over here. I might be wrong, but let's give it a shot. Yeah, this is it. Because there's a fairy under the bridge here. You can only get it when the water's cleared up. Or I guess you don't the water doesn't even need to be cleared up. You just need to at least have the bow. You could shoot it from uh, one of the angles and uh, have it come to you. <laughs> Oops. Look how pretty I am. There we go. Okay. So we got them all in this area. Run away! Whoa, almost. I almost fell off. Boom. Okay. Take 
take care of these dragonflies right now. Right here now. If I don't keep hitting the top of this friggin' ladder, that is. Okay. You're gone. You're gone. And you're gone. There. Less to worry about. I want to see if I can uh, make this quick, make this side jump. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Wooby dooby doo. That's your thirteenth one. I think there are fifteen total in here. There's one over there. I believe there's one more close by. I believe. Buddy. Buddy fairy. Your 14th one. Yeah. Yep, one more. Okay. Now where is it? Where's my fairy friend? Uh, maybe down there? Maybe in the water. Ah, there it is. Okay. Nah, a little bit to the left. Hmm. All right. Come over. Hey there, Rover. Come on over. Yeah! Quick, take them to their fellow fairies of the same color. Now, uh, I could take them all, uh, I could just leave the dungeon and take them to the Great Fairy, but we're at the end. Might as well finish this dungeon and then take them to the, to the Great Fairy. Like, I think this is, this, this is the room right before the boss. No. All right. It's more annoying than I thought it was. I can hit that switch. I can just hit that switch. Yes! <laughs> Woo! It's a close one. Okay. Okay. Well, how do I do this? How do I do this? it does reach. Didn't seem like it would. All right. We're approaching the second day? Yeah. Day number two. Which is great. It gives us plenty of time to uh, do all the ex little extra things. Uh, let's wait till the, uh, till, till, till the day comes. Right now. Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. All right. Got all the fairies. Now let's take on this boss. Masked jungle warrior, Odalwa. If you get close to him, you'll be beaten. Do you understand me? Okay, I understand. Ah! So this area, this boss is uh, very, you can beat him in a multitude of ways. They didn't, I guess they made this one a little more approachable. They changed up the strategy in, uh, yeah, in the 3DS version. They changed up the boss strategy in the uh, uh, in the new version of the game. But yeah, you can take this guy on in a multitude of ways. Come on, come this way, buddy. I'm gonna drop stuff on your head. Oh, I missed. Oh, I 
maybe I'm not. Nuts don't work here. Got it. Ah! Fine. Bomb time. Get him. Ow. I missed. Ah! Maybe I wasn't doing any damage with the bow earlier. Calling on butterflies. early game boss though like the first time I fought him he was he was hard he'll do this kind of he did the like the the quick running around thing that threw me off the first time I played this game but I kind of know what to look for at this point I guess let's get that mask you seized Odalua's remains you just freed the innocent spirits that this dark mask had kept in prison within the body of evil Adalwa. Well, good. Mask makes me think of Crash Bandicoot. Or Banjo-Kazooie. What's that? What is that? <gasps> Wait, listen. It seems to be saying something. Could that crying be its way of teaching us some sort of melody? Don't just stand there. Get your instrument. Okay. Could this be the song? I think that was the most colorful boss I had ever seen. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty colorful, wasn't he? He's there are more there are there's at least one more very colorful one in this game. You learned the Oath of Order. My f my phone is uh, charging, so I didn't get a, uh, I didn't send you a grocery list, Dark. It's having trouble just charging. Call us. That's what it's saying. Like it's at 4% battery, and it's not...
All right. We've cleaned up the waters. We've cleaned up the waters. <sighs> Yay, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, cool. Uh, it's snowy right now where we are. Like, bad to drive on, but uh, my I recently got a new car, and it's a Subaru Forester. Oh, so, and it's uh, it's always four wheel drive. Uh, but Sean, uh, uh, my husband Sean just went to the store, and he was like, "Also, the roads are still horrid, but your car crushes all of it." <laughs> Most fun I've had driving in years. <laughs> Enjoy when you go later. I'm excited. Yay! Awesome. The four people Tattle talked about, or Tail talked about. Do you think he was talking about the spirit that was sealed inside that mask? Oh, hey, you were pretty good out there. Have you done this before or what? Yeah. Yeah, I've done this before. Now, just keep up, ju now, just keep up that pace and save the other three. Hey, um... All that stuff I did to you, your horse, I, I apologize. Sorry. There, I apologize, so don't hold it against me, got it? Now then, we've helped the princess just like the monkey asked, so now our next stop is in the mountains. Let's hurry and do something about that skull kid. Duh. What is that? Hi, princess. What? Who are you? Link, pleased to meet you. I'm the Deku princess. Were you by chance asked by that monkey to come save me? Aha! Just as I suspected. You see, your body smells a little bit like monkey. So, the monkey made it back fine after all. That's good. Mm, not quite. I was worried that when I didn't come home, my father would think that monkey had kidnapped me. I was worried that my father would even go so far as to punish the poor monkey. <laughs> Don't tell me. Are you serious? Is father actually doing that? Yet another hasty decision, father. Mad. Well, we have to. We haven't any time to lose. Quick, Miss. Quickly, Mr. Link. Could you please find something to carry me in so you could take me to the DQ Palace? Well, the only containers I got are some bottles. You think it'd fit? Let me free a fairy real quick. <laughs> you put the Deku Princess in a bottle. It's a tight fit, but she says she'll be fine if you hurry. You see to let her out. Ugh, Mr. Link, there's no time to lose. Uh, hurry! Uh, take me to the palace! She's all squunched up. <sighs> I'm glad you enjoyed the car ride, John. That's awesome. I am um, very much enjoy enjoying driving the car. That's most fun I've had driving in years, too. Alright, to the palace. And then we can uh, put the fairy back, the great fairy back together later. Let us hurry! Princess, let's take you to the palace. Oh, princess, princess. Told you not to enter the royal chamber. It's a very rare occasion to. Why are you waiting, Mr. Link? Oh, just anywhere? Okay. Oops. Ah, sorry. I took my mask off. Instead of let her out, they're gonna kick me out. Sorry. Sorry, princess. I messed up. <laughs> 
Mistakes you don't make if it were if it wasn't a video game. Well, I meant to let you out of the bottle. I accidentally took my mask off. Here. Ow. This item doesn't seem to work here. Guess I gotta take her to her daddy. There we go. <laughs> oh, my princess! My darling princess! Are you alright? I was so worried. <laughs> Foolish father! <laughs> yeah, you better let that monkey go. What are you doing? Let that monkey go this instant! <sighs> Justice! <laughs> oh yeah, the soundtrack in this game is wonderful. Oh, Mr. Monkey, I'm truly so sorry. Father does such rash things when he's worried about me. I understand, Princess. Forget about that. Has the temple been returned to normal? Why, yes, thanks to Mr. Link here. I'm very truly grateful. Really? So you're called Link, are you? Thank you for keeping your promise to me. Hmm. <laughs> As a symbol of our gratitude, oh, as a symbol of our gratitude, our butler has prepared a little something for you. Please accept it. You'll find it in the shrine that'll be on your right when you leave the palace. Well, all right. Thank you very much. I'll do just that. Hasty decision making is my weakness. This time more than ever, I've it has become clear to me. Oh, strange traveler, there is little I can do, but please rest a bit before going. It seems our butler has taken somewhat of a liking to you, Mr. Link. I believe you'll find him waiting in the shrine that will be to your right when you leave the palace. I shall never forget what you've done for us. But please forgive me if I refuse to ride in that tiny little bottle ever again. Ah, no problem. <laughs> hey, monkey. Hey, Link, I'm sorry for all that trouble. Now it looks like we monkeys and the Deku scrubs can start getting along again. You know, the swamp may be back to normal, but something still gives me a bad feeling. I wonder what it could be. Can I take my mask off yet? Yay! Good. They recognize me as Link. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I got about 35 minutes before I have to head out. Let's see if I can do all the things... Go to see the butler. Uh -oh. So one thing that they changed, kind of for the worse, uh, for the worse in uh, in the remake, is that you'll see that if I kind of start sliding, I go I go faster. But regardless of whether you step off or or slide, you go with this pace in the in the new version. Like it starts you with the same uh, bouncing pace, which was a that's not a good decision. I don't know why they did that. Mm, I think I might be able to do this puzzle, this game, with uh, without being a Deku scrub. Let's see. Link, I am truly grateful to, for what you have done for the princess. As a sign of our gratitude, we Deku have prepared something that we think may assist you. I will lead you to it. Please follow me. Follow me. It's like Dampay. I bet he throws fireballs at me. Or not. Okay. This is this is a bit easier with the bunny hood. Oh no, he kind of he kind of slingshots you like Mario Kart. Uh. That's what it feels like anyway. By that I mean with Mario Kart, uh, 
like the original Mario Kart, the enemies would catch up to you regardless of how well you were doing. It's, I think they call it, the term people use is like slingshot physics. That way? Oh god. I'm trying. I should be a Deku scrub for this. I really should. Bouncy water. Come on, man. No, I'm in trouble. Uh, I want to say it's this way. Yes, I was right. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, first try. Got it. Well done, Link. Now here's the item I promised. Please accept it. You got the mask of sense. This mask heightens your sense of smell. Wear it with C to sharpen your olfactory perception. Sniff, sniff. That's that's the smell of power. Actually, when I see you, I am reminded of my son who left home long ago. Somehow I feel as if I am once again racing with my son. I'm afraid I may have tried too hard to outrun you. As old as I am, I am still a fast competitor. Just like when I raced my son. Please forgive my rudeness. That's okay. Now, uh, can you say anything about us? Yep, okay. Now remember the, uh, what appeared to be a dead Deku scrub? The sad looking tree in the beginning of the game? That's his son. That's the butler's son. Okay. Actually, I don't want to. I don't want to go back in there, but I want to use this platform to quickly warp. Now that mask has like one purpose. You can go to the mysterious woods and like dig up mushrooms and I think that gives you like a free potion or something so it's neat uh... all right so now to the great fairy sense do 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 ya da 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 do you do 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 I guess I should have been a Deku scrub for that part huh Deku scrubs and I guess all the other scrubs are gone the the baddie ones to be right here, and then we can get into that cave. Yeah. Yeah. Now we've reunited all the stray fairies. I make a great fairy.
Oh, strong young one, I am the great fairy of power. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I grant you, you, I grant you prowess with this new sword technique. Prowess. You mastered the spin attack. Press and hold B to power your weapon with magic. When you release B, your sword will unleash a whirlwind of energy as you spin around to stir up energy quickly without having to charge. Blah, 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 blah. We know this. Come see me again whenever you are overcome with the weariness. Whenever you are overcome with weariness. Oh, it's just the... Oh, good. So, that's neat. So, now I'm able to use the orange. But in this game is a little different from Ocarina because you can do the quick spin and it's orange instead of blue. So they made you earn the orange part, but they made it easier to access. So that's a nice trade-off. I didn't realize that before. It's pretty neat. Because yeah, in OOT, in Ocarina of Time, you get access to the uh, blue and orange at the same time, uh, but if you do the quick spin, it's only blue. Neato. Okay. <laughs> do do. Whoa, whoa. So there's an area over this way. I guess I can just, uh, do this, huh? Yes, this area. Good. I guess, uh, the rain doesn't put out the brazer. That's, that's handy. See if I can uh, do this in time. Now, what does the sign say? Let's take a read. Let's take a read. Fearful spider house, dead ahead. The fearful spider house. Ooh. Hey, dog. Ah, help me. I'm not a monster. The spider's curse, it made me this way. I beg of you, in here, find all the gold ones. The cursed spiders, defeat them quickly. And when you defeat them, don't forget the spider token. It contains the spider spirit. If you lift the curse, I'll teach you something good. Hurry, please, this is awful. All right. So this is where the uh, gold skulltillas in this game are. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. They are sequestered in... Uh, uh, spider houses. And I think there are two. There are two spider houses. This one and another one later on. And you get something for doing them. Anything else? No, just more bugs. What do you got to say, doggo? There is a mask that lets you talk with animals, but I don't have it yet. So, bugs are useful in that... They will crawl up the walls and go into the uh, soft dirt. I'm going to try to do this whole th whole place before I have to go in like 30 minutes. Don't know if I'll be able to. It can be it can be a bit of a challenge. There's one. The Goldie Scully. They're all over the place. You can just hear them crawling. There's number two. I like that it doesn't make you stop in this one. It just... Okay. Just collect it and move on. I'll go as quickly as I can. Number two bug.
Doodle doodle doo. Scooby dooby doo. Okay. Yeah. I'm actually not sure if I'm gonna be able to reach all of them, but I feel like I should be able to. Like my my thought is that I don't have anything like a like a hook shot or a boomerang. Uh, so it's possible there are some that I won't be able to reach, but that might not be true. I want to say that they put this place in front of you at this part of the game with the assumption that, you know, that you'd be able to do this, do all this now. I wonder if I can even do this before I have the bow. Curious. Okay, what's this say? Please feel free to take our fresh spring water home with you. Hmm. Well, shoot, I hope I don't have to... I hope I don't have to have magic beans for this. That would be stanky. That would stank. Okay, so I can definitely reach this. I can... Meh. So I can drop down and get it from up there. There's another one, but I can't. I can't get that one, can I? Can I? Maybe. If there's a DQ flower in here, I can reach it. All right, let's find a way in. Yeah, it's it's 121 right now. I got I can leave at 145. Oh, well. Doodly do. Oh, there's one. I still hear one. There it is. Yeah. I don't think I can reach that. Nah, I'll have to come back here much later. That stinks. Yeah, when I when I get an item that lets me uh, grab things from a distance, can't do it now. Yeah. Oh well, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shoot. All right. Well. Let's do the responsible thing and do or uh, deposit my deposit the money. Ah. That's good. We finished. Uh, we finished the first temple today. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Da, 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 
Hello. While we have a little bit of time left. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just warp to the last day. And I think... Yeah, like the night of the last day. I think I can get uh, another mask. The uh, the postman, he has, a, he has a mask that I can have. And I think I can only get it the last, uh, last day. If I remember correctly. Welcome back, Phoenix. I won't be much longer. Uh, I'm just going to try to get this uh, one last mask before I finish up. But we um, we finished the uh, uh, swamp temple, and we completed the... We put the Great Fairy back together, so we got the upgraded uh, sword technique. Handy-dandy sword technique. We attempted the spider house, but we we need a uh, we need a grappling I, uh, weapon to be able to finish it. So we'll come back later. Night of the final day. Twelve hours remain. Hello, buddy. Oh, I want to flee, but it's not written on the schedule. T to me, the delivery schedule, it's the highest priority! Yeah. To myself, you've been doing a great job delivering mail. I have a request for my hardworking self. All the townsfolk have taken refuge, and I want to myself to flee. Even if, if it is not written on the schedule, I want myself to flee. Please, from me. Poor people. Everyone starts to come to the, like, for, for the first couple days, a lot of people are in denial that the moon's actually falling and are wanting to go on with the, with the carnival, but people have to deal with the stark realization that the world's kind of ending. And you see, like, people, like, really scared and depressed and, like, at their, at their wits' end. Like, I think even the, nope, all right, now I think we gotta wait till the, uh, last last like couple minutes so let's undo the slowed version of time and wait for that last few minutes to come around oh my god thank you for the follow baby thank you for the follow whoever that was <laughs> yeah if only people had their own had their own tardis Ocarina. Why was that? Why is Ray Romano here? Well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess everyone loves Raymond. No, 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 no. Closed until 10 p.m. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I added uh, I added notices or whatever you call it, like banners to uh, a lot of actions uh, a couple weeks ago. So the if you donate oh if you donate a dollar or more, like what a hundred bits or more, there's a new one. Uh, there's a host one I think. There's a follow. There's a uh, subscribe I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. Because I can turn back. Because I can turn back time. I'm just waiting for midnight to hit. And while we're waiting, I'm going to see if I can get this Keaton to show up. Keaton. 
Foxy friend. Foxy friend? Nope. No Keaton for me. We're just gonna have to wait. Ray, Ray, Ray Romani. Romani Ranch. Tough. The Nine Tails got maybe was smart and got his butt out of here. It's like, yeah, the moon's falling. I'm not gonna stick around. Do 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 do. I just want. Ooh. I think I can get some money. That's probably that, uh, I don't think I got the treasure chest this time. Uh, right over here with a hundred rupees. I can just give you free money. If you know where to look. It's right over here. Yeah! Ooh, and I, now I got the bow. So I guess I can do, uh, Mini games at this point. They're probably all closed. Oh no, good. I'm gonna do a mini game. <laughs> if you still have time, why don't you try it, Sonny? All right. <laughs> all right, Sonny. The rules are simple. Hit as many red ones as you can within the time limit. If you hit a blue one, you lose time. So watch out. You can use all right. Use as many arrows as you want. Our highest score is 39. If you break the record, you'll win a spectacular prize. Good luck. Reddies. Yeah. Dang. All right. Doodly do, doody doody, infinite arrows. Ah! ah that was bad. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Yeah. Woohoo! Haha! <laughs> Alright! Alright! Bump, 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 bump! Ha! Clean! No! Alright! Two! <laughs> Not too bad. 42. <laughs> it's a new record. Well, here you go. Ooh, yeah. Sweet. Got a large river. river. This may be our last day in business, and you shot pretty well. Okay, it's closing time. Quick, get out of here. Awesome. I did it right on time. All right. All right, all right. Cool. <laughs> All right, anything over here? Curiosity shop. Shop. Oh, a bomb bag. Or a bag. All right, you don't serve masqueraders. All right. <laughs> Come in. You got to look around. I'm doing a special sale. Tonight's special bargain was just stolen. Came by in sec seconds ago. This is really hot. I kid you not. Actually, something sh sold over at the bomb shop, but a thief sold it to me. It's a bomb bag. Check it out. Buy it. Check the bargain. Bomb bag? Well, let me go get some rupees. Like, I don't know. Does it upgrade my bombs? Because I already bought the bomb bag from the bomb shop when I stopped the thief uh, the last time. Sakon, the thief. All right, let's withdraw some rupees. Withdraw. I want 19. So, how many you want? That many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it'll upgrade my bomb bag. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Got it. 
Check out the bargain. You already got one. All right. Fine. Well, that's that. I got it legit. All right, let's deposit all this then. Banking. What fun. All right. Midnight. Okay, now I think I'm able to talk to Duder. Me, the delivery schedule is the highest priority. Do I wait for you? Maybe I'll wait for him. I think that's how it works. I've got a feeling that I'm supposed to... That he, he starts to leave at a certain point. I don't know if you ever saw this part, Dark, but yeah. Ugh, I'm scared. I can't take it. I don't want to die. Yeah. People were really scared. It's it's kind of sad. Like even the even the master of the dojo, the strong man that he is, is like shaking with terror at the, the thought of the end of the world. My my appointment's at two, so I'll be fine. I'll be fine to do this last bit and then save and leave. I've still got nine minutes, and this is yeah. Ha! <laughs> Phoenix says the shopkeep the shopkeeper of the curiosity shop looks like he's from fear and loathing. He does. <laughs> no, I'm saying I had like nine minutes before I have to go. And like the and these minutes aren't even minutes. Like, look how fast the seconds are going. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eh, not quite seconds. They're a little bit quicker. Okay. I'm sorry, buddy. Leave. Leave, friend. Save yourself. Sticking to your schedule isn't going to stop the moon from falling. <laughs> I want that hat. Yeah! Shwoobity doo. A uh, shwoo, 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 shwoo. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a catastrophic cosmic event. Nothing to fret over. Not for Link. He can just turn. Yeah, nothing to fret over for him. He just turn back the clock. I'm betting it. I'm betting it's like the last minute. It could also be that I'm supposed to give him something to make it happen. I'm not sure, but I'll I'll just wait. I'll just wait. Waity wait 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 wait. Waity waity wait. Yeah, I actually have a feeling there's a... Yeah, yeah. Remember earlier when I gave uh, Cafe's mom that letter? I think what I'm probably supposed to do end up doing is give it to him to deliver. 
and then like that kind of gives him a little bit of meaning to go on. Yep. Yeah. So I think that's how it works. Ah well, we'll have to. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's 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 coming back to me now. That's how it works. Um, so like, you had two options in that in that uh, situation. You either let him deliver it, and then he gives you his uh, mailman's cap, oh. or you deliver it yourself, and you get the the extra bottle in the Chateau Romani. Uh, so we'll have to do that another time. Such a sad song there, like at the end, at the last, uh, at the last five minutes or last six minutes or whatever. There are six hours in game time. It's heavy. It's heavy and good. <laughs> ah, the quickest way to the mountains is through the north gate. Well, we'll do that next time. For now, thank you all for watching, and I had a lot of fun. We uh, we made some progress, had some laughs, had some cries. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, uh, but I gotta head off, and I'll see y'all next time. Later. <laughs>